plus one actually. Because like the thing is, Peach, you know, classic, hard to approach, but once she does go in, she kind of tears you up. And Banjo, kind of, kind of another anti-approach character, kind of like Ivy Sword with his like his projectiles, his like big kind of slowish hitboxes. But the thing about Banjo is, Banjo has like a lot of mix-ups out of disadvantage with his double jumps, his upbeat, his like feathers, I don't know. What the, I don't know what the side beat's called. Golden feather, whatever. Ooh, nice pairs. And like Banjo's also kind of like a nickel and dime character as well. I mean, like he has like some stuff, but like it's just like the way the character's meant to be played. It's more of like a tack on a bit of her percent there, here and there. Ooh, Ooh just standing still. Oh yeah, I'm bomb. That's another thing. That like Banjo can both kind of like apply pressure and like cover defensively with so yeah we, we haven't been seeing like the kind of like consistent 30 plus or, like 50 that Peach can deal but like it's it's more of like a kind of nickel and dime game it's like it's almost like he's playing Banjo's game and he's ahead right now so good stuff to link. I mean, like, Banjo does have kill power, but he can struggle to kill. And, like, Banjo to disadvantage, it, it doesn't really sound too good. Because, like, you know, you like to nickel and dime, you want them to approach you. You kind of don't really, like, other than your side beat, which you don't really want to, you know, throw out 24 7. You don't really have, like, that many, like, good killing burst options. And, like, killing is kind of a struggle. But if you get if you get them at like 160, yeah, you're able to just down throw, and then like they can't mesh out if they up tilt because up tilt it'll come out too fast unless you have a godlike mesh. And we have an even game right now. Well, I gotta say even is where he kind of gets nared and slowly adding more and more percent on, like getting tacked on. Ooh, bomb. Yeah, bomb is like it, right now. It's hard to deal with when like you have it because you know you, you don't know when that thing's going to go off that thing can go off whenever it wants to i don't know the timing for it but i know if it comes in contact with the with the with like the opponent's her box Ooh, i like that um it'll explode on frame one i think that also applies with shield Ooh, oh oh yeah up there off i don't know if backer would have killed nice scout Oh, did he just bomb recover? Yo, he was about to bomb recover again. I, I love I love how Ray is being more liberal with his side Bs. And uh, we got a Saturn here clanking with the egg. Ooh. 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 Oh my god. What a bomb. That bomb just saved him. Oh my god, he died at 120! I mean, rage, but like, yo, that is just Mario back for us, to be honest. Alright! Alright, dash attack gonna come through, and we have a game. We have a game here. Alright. Dash attack. I know, I know there is like a late hit of dash attack. But I don't know how good it is. Jesus, that up air. I know a lot of people say, like, oh, that up air is bad. But, like, it gets the job done, you know. Fast aerial, huge deal, you know. Good amount of damage. Links into itself. It can frame trap if they try to air dodge. Because, you know, it's super fast. And, you know, covers the air above them. It's, isn't that what you want from your up air? You know, just cover the air above you. Anyways. We got a bit of a close game. Air conversion. Oh, we're gonna go off for the mash. If um, if race, if Ray like senses that Ling Ling is gonna mash, then um, you know, obviously he could like run up aerial, like with a forward air, up air, and air. Like whether he wants to like lingering aerial or just like kill. But uh, at this point, like at 150, you're, you kind of just want to go go for up tilt unless Ling Ling has like you know really good mash. Oh, the bomb recovery! The bomb recovery and the coverage from Ling Ling, but that's not gonna be enough! Oh no! Oh my god, what a close game! It's been... This game has gone on for so long, it's been like... 
what, five minutes? And this is only game one. And, like, other than, like, one side V from Ray, we haven't seen any, but that back throw would be, oh my god. That back throw, that back throw is strong. He is strong, oh my god. I'm gonna take it. Yo, I gloss over at Ray's damage. He dealt 470. 470. That's not normal. Damn, it just kind of goes to show how like how much work Banjo has to put in, like how much damage he has to put up. Cause like, like stock. I think it was stock two and stock three. No, stock one and stock three, where Ling Ling died at like 160. And then stock two, he died to a back throw. But um, enough about game one. Here we have game two. Um, I wonder how Ling Ling's gonna adjust because like the thing is like Ray's game plan of just kind of like chipping and like winning these scramble situations. Wow, that just went through it. It's it's like it's kind of hard to like counterplay with necessarily. Because, like, for Peach, like, as I alluded to earlier, like, her approach options, they kind of ain't all it, you know? So, you know, Peach, they typically, Peaches, they typically like to, you know, use their float movement and, you know, their aerials to kind of, uh, mitigate that. But for Banjo, who's someone who kind of, like, you know, throws out his projectiles, has a fast run so he can kind of just run away, has a pretty good, a pretty good dash despite it being bad, which is weird. Like, the dash is short, like the initial dash, but, uh, like, it's still good for some reason. <gasps> oh my god! That move is 18 frames until that, I, until those iframes come out. And he barely missed that one, but he was able to get another one. It's just, it's just that banjo, banjo disadvantage coming in where, like, he has, like, so many potential mix-ups. Especially if you let him, uh, kind of, like, pressure with a bomb. Like, it gets hard. It gets hard to keep him at disadvantage. Whether he's in the air, whether he's off stage, whether he's on the ledge, it's hard. Because then, like, this character goes back to neutral, and Banjo neutral kind of nasty. Uh-oh. Oh my god, the iframes on that. Oh, he has no up though, because he bonked. He bonked with it and didn't, uh... Directional air dodge immediately. If he uh, if he was able to do it earlier, he might have gotten out. But I don't know. But yeah, that actually was pretty important for Ling Ling, cause like Ray, he didn't get he didn't get too much percent on earlier. But now Ray's kind of putting on the hurt, you know. Ling Ling's basically at a hundred. Ray's only at fifty. I mean, like like I said earlier, Peach hasn't been able to do like some of her like high damaging combos. Ray's been avoiding them really well, and that just kind of goes to show how, like, well Banjo's, like, neutral is with, like, you know, being evasive, having all those, like, hitboxes, because, like, if he chooses just to, like, not get hit, and, like, play defensively, he, he, you just end up in situations like this, oh my god, I love that, where, like, ooh, ooh. Jesus, that was so... So good for Ling Ling. Alright. Bomb getting rate of 40 right now. Let's see how much, uh, let's see how much Ling Ling can do right now. I think this is kind of a, this is the first time Ling Ling's had any, like, real advantage. Alright. And, you know, he's just gonna, just gonna attack on the pressure. 75 on Ray right now. 80. Oh my god. I don't know what happened from, like, the start of this game to like what's right now, but Ling Ling is just he's just not getting hit, he's just not dying. Oh, he went for it. Oh. I kinda respect that. But like he has like he had like such a lead. Like with that stock. That was with like that stock advantage, you know? That like I, I felt like it was kind of unnecessary, but back air pressure, you know? I was gonna take it. Ling Ling, you're gonna take that game with a whole stock left? Damn. Good stuff, and now we got a we got a game three. I love that adaptation. I, I don't know if that was just like I mean to 
be honest, that kind of looked like momentum. But Ling Ling, you know, he just kind of, he kind of took that last stock, and then he just didn't get hit. Like, even after he has the he didn't get hit. Which is, you know, pretty good. Pretty hard, especially for Peach, because, like, her, like, her bubble, like, yeah, it's threatening, and, like, yeah, it's dangerous, but, like, her movement is, like, eh. I mean, in I movement in terms of, like, uh, like, speed, you know? Like, being able to, like, get around and, like, pressure. Like, when she's around you, the pressure is there. Like, getting to that spot and, like, trying to position yourself so that, like, things are safe. Like, that's, that's the hard part. Alright. Back throw bomb, gonna deal 24. Now we picked a Lilat. Um, I feel like this will help Ling Ling a lot more. I mean, this was race pick, to be fair. But, like, I feel like with, with the platforms and, like, the slants, and, like, potentially messing up, like, the bomb placement. Like, I feel like this kind of just helps Ling Ling a lot more than it does Ray. And I love kind of like the patience on that float! Oh no! Ling Ling is up the whole stock. He only has like 60 on him. Yo, is he actually just gonna like, not interact with Ray? I don't know. Because this is kind of like a horrible spot for Banjo right now. Oh, nothing off of the down air. Unfortunate. Like, we have still yet to see a big combo from Ling Ling, where you, you just tack on 60, whether it's like, their extensions, uh, I don't know, float stuff, like, damn. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna try to catch him, or just get back on stage, but that, this is a, this is a side beat. I still don't know what it's called. Another side beat? Oh my god. Ling Ling at just such a good kind of position right now. Jesus, it's not looking too good for Ray. I have nothing off of that again. Like, these platforms, they just help Ling so much, whether it's the landing or not. Like, Banjo? Andrew didn't really like doesn't really like need the platforms necessarily, but that meaty fair is gonna take it. And now it's time. Well, it's not necessarily time. It's more just the this is where you can get out of this horrible position. You know, this is your opportunity. Will you take it? Ooh, gonna use the side beat to snap the ledge. He has one left, and now he has five. Oh no! He floated right through it. <laughs> Alright. Couple up airs. Ooh. I mean, he's starting to bring something back. Oh no. Oh no! We might be able to make this. Oh, he was so close. And he's gonna take it. He's gonna take it. Ralphie, Ralph, oh my god, my commentary is so good today. <laughs>